What's up everyone, this is Sam from TechLink. Today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to tune your Dolphin emulator settings so that you can get the best possible frame rate on slower devices. To do this, I'm going to show you on my HP Stream 7, which is an Atom-based, low-power, low-budget device and not meant to be running heavy-duty emulators like this. Of course, you can apply the same settings on your slow devices and see how far it can get you to, uh, but your mileage could vary, just keep that in mind. So let's get started. Let's talk about the version of the Dolphin emulator. So these days the most popular versions of Dolphin is 3.5 and 4.0. Both of them are equally stable, but uh, version 3.5 runs a little bit faster. So on slower devices, every little bit counts. So I suggest you always go for 3.5 unless there is a better version. Secondly, let's talk about the configurations. Let's open the configurations tab and take a look what's inside. So for these two, it, since it can greatly improve your speed, you should keep those on unless there is a, an issue caused by it. Otherwise, just always keep that keep those on. For recompiler, um, by default it is set at just in time and uh, for some slower devices, sometimes it runs better on this compiler instead. So you might want to test it out to see if changing a recompiler will make your emulation run faster or brings you uh, more frames per second. For interface, nothing to be changed. For audio, make sure it is set at fast. And uh, for other tabs, I didn't change, just leave. <coughs> Excuse me, just leave those but as default. So click OK and let's take a look at graphics. For graphics, um, always go for DirectX 9 because that's the fastest uh, you can get among all these. Of course, if you are going for best um, graphics quality, um, the OpenGL will bring you the best and most accurate uh, texture and quality of the, of the graphics but in this case we're going all for speed so let's choose DirectX 9 and um, we're using internal graphics so nothing to be changed for resolution um, of course as low as possible but um, I think something around 640 to 480 should be good enough and uh, aspect ratio um, maybe you should leave it as uh, the default 4.3 because it will not use extra processing power to make it 16 by 9 so just leave it at 4 by 3 and um, these things uh, you don't need to touch those just uh, if you like just click this to show the FPS so that you have an idea how smooth it is for enhancements, uh, this is very important. For internal resolution, make sure you set it to 1x because anything more than 1x will greatly reduce your emulation speed. So make sure it is set to the lowest, which is 1x. Anti-aliasing and, uh, and uh, anisotropic filtering, just give it none and 1x. And these are the graphical enhancement or widescreen hacks so keep those off so for hacks make sure the skip EFB access from CPU is checked so that it can run extra fast but if there is problem just uh, remove it so in this case I, I just keep it as on first and uh, for EFB copies uh, make sure it is set as texture because it is much much faster than uh, than RAM setting. And the texture uh, texture cache set it as fast. And uh, external frame buffer you can disable it unless there is a frame buffering problem. Just keep it as disabled. And uh, in the other section. Um, you have to make sure you disable fog because it can improve your speed 
and also check the OpenMP texture decoder which uh, will work faster on uh, multi-core processors so in this case uh, it is relevant to our atom processor so I keep that on for advanced nothing to be changed just uh, leave it there do not change anything you don't know so these are the things we need to set in the graphics tab um, in addition there is it is something unrelated to the Dolphin emulator uh, for slower devices usually you have less amount of RAM than other devices so you have to make sure that there is no background uh, programs or antivirus scanning running in the background because um, this will hugely impact on the performance so um, before running the emulator you need to uh, clear the cache or make sure all those unused programs are closed and uh, better yet put the device on AC power so that the processor can run as fast as it can and uh, sometimes uh, those game emul uh, those game boosters might help in this case there is this um, game booster the name uh, has been updated as Razer Cortex uh, what it does is uh, when you use the, the game booster it ensures that um, your CPU is running at maximum speed and also um, it will automatically close other background programs for you so that most of your memory are allocated to the foreground application it will help a little bit but uh, it is nothing uh, dramatic so uh, you can give it a try if you want so after these settings hopefully you can get the most out of your slow devices but keep in mind it is nothing magical it is just uh, for you to run your games as efficient as possible uh, uh, even after setting like this there are still many games which I can't play on my stream 7 on a playable frame rate so um, it is just something to to, uh, to maximize the capability of the device it is not making impossibles possible so to, to be very clear about it so in the following section of the video I'm going to show you and before and after video of the game footage of running new Super Mario Bros. Wii. So I'll first show you uh, some clips of me running it before my settings and the performance after settings so that you have an idea how much it can improve on performance. So sit back and enjoy and until next time this is Sam signing out. Go, 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 go.